Dude, I wanna, I want FPX to make worlds, well, and I want to cast an FPX game, and I want to clit to hide on a bush kind of and be like behind the enemy team, and I want to be casting, and I want to say, can they find the clit? I want to say it so bad. Oh my god, maybe it's funnier in my head. It's just funnier in my head, isn't it? Big, good job. Like oh, Poppy. Wait, how broken is TT's draft, so apart from that rise? Oh, they need a Renata. Oh, it's banned. Hecarim. You ready into Nar? Summit? Yeah, Summit? Really Pulse champ? Pulse champ? Into Poppy, though? Oh my yeah, god, he's a psycho! So he just picked he Irelia into Nar. But how crazy is Summit? He's playing Irelia into Nar, Brown, Poppy? I don't know about this. Okay, Hong and Summit, same team. It's such a free win when you have Hong and Summit on the same team. Poppy's really good into their champs, apart from Senatan. So clearly it's just going to do a full clear online. Beige one has done three camps looking bot. I mean, Brown Beige Poppy one, is insane honestly, setup. I think they should have level one invaded bot actually with Brown Poppy like he has a gank here, though. against Hecarim. We'll get in behind LWX. They have I didn't no see idea. the level one wards though. No, oh, they feel no Q flash here by Brown. Nice. Oh my god, the Tam Kench. What is Beige one doing? The Tam Kench knock interrupted the Poppy E to stop push pushing uh, LWX. With no flash, bot no flashes. Brown has no flash either, so it's actually even in bot. Summit trying to forget that you know devastating charge get some pressure top he has, he has cookie for mana which is good this is why, but uh, uh i think he has the base and tp he has no vision he has two cookies that's really good actually this lane now running in towards the mid lane to just he should know where poppy is because there's a ping on poppy he has the cookie for mana oh summit the double cookie gave him the muff enough mana i think the nar thought that the early didn't have mana for full combo of eq qw but he had double cookie and this Holy. is where you gotta try and look at like how TT No cookie, he would die there. Or like he'd have to like let the free stick. Summit NA talent. talent. Summit was the problem. So here's the stun. He's gonna Q Biscuit again to get mana. W auto Q. Auto. I think he got the first the second auto off, but it doesn't matter. He had the damage. Summit has really changed FPX. They're so much better. Now the irony here would be a cast a curse and they lose anyway, but they've beaten so many teams since he joined. I don't get it. He has no smite here, Clit. It's kinda annoying. He has to back off. And Poppy will get his red. Oh, it's a horror for Hecarim. Maybe they can just dive the snar then? Because he's fucking with them too hard. Oh, he misses E. Ah, uh, it's over. They can't dive. They can't dive. They can't dive. This is super int. Guys, you're griefing. Like, you should know you're griefing. Oh my god. Now their bot lane's getting blasted. Oh my god. It's over. They got a bot dive 4v2. And they can't dive top. So wasn't able to join Jesus. That play on top side. Hoya if Kara was top, maybe they could do it, but so yeah, I guess he was catching a wave. That he's able to yeah, again, exactly what you said. It's just Yukal and Beishuan having a numbers advantage. No level six. It's almost like a carbon copy of what we saw against RNG because the center time catch is so susceptible to these kind of moments when they don't have uh, If they were six, they could hold this dive, but they're not. And now Clid hasn't based yet, and he's looking to force Herald, but their bot lane is first, so. Now they lose Herald. TT, now get to come TT back doing pretty good on the map. Pick up the rift tower for themselves. Yes, you're getting hung push it in on bot side. But I mean, Kepler now just gets to walk straight down towards the spot side. Or actually care. Care. Why did you walk up on that, my friend? That's that was just not something you need to be... Yeah, and the, the problem is Summit can't, can't carry this game. His champ doesn't let him. Blue buff hand handoff. Rise has been impressive, actually. A lot of games that I've watched Rise in the LCK and LPL, it's been winning. Summit needs Blade. When he has Blade, maybe he can start getting some solo kills going. Right now, it's really hard. Steel Caps just stops all the Irelia damage early until she gets played. Then she one shots again. Where's the Eat? Where's the Eat? Ah, Hung. Nice play. Oh, this TP from Care was a bit useless unless they're engaging. At the end of the day, no one goes down, but they're still hunted here as TT. Yeah, care just about STP that was so useless. To make it down to this bottom side to cover the play. Now, Summit. We have Naruto into tower. I mean, there's no one about. 
There's no one about. It's a straight 1v1, but very difficult to make that one stick. Even nice try. Full stacks in the conqueror, and he has course, blades, so he has to all in. Does FPX down, fight this? They have no eat. I mean, they use the Ramna will die there, though. In the bot lane as Looks good. So yeah, they're allowed in. Oh, I mean, no. it's already gone for. <laughs> oh, to stop I the think recess. he's dead. It's yeah. He's going to flash the heck removed. Oh, he didn't flash the Hecromult. I think someone just ults him here, I think. Ult flash is the easy way. Ah, uh, Kara's here. He can just kill him. Oh my god, Kara. He's gonna execute. The Nara's gonna execute. Kara flashed. Okay, he got him. He tagged him. Pog, let's go, man. Hey, Kara. Your biggest fan here. Okay. Okay, while well, the Rise is super fed, the Aurelia is super fed, I think the game state is really TT favorite still. I'm a bit worried for Summit here. He needs play to steal caps because of their damage share, but look at how much CC they have. Braum Q passive, Braum ult, Aphelios gun, Rise W, Oppi stun, Nars double stun. They have so much CC. I think Summit's gonna go in and die. I set the expectation that Summit's fucked in these fights, but if he isn't, then holy moly. Nice, this is a messy fight. This is good for Summit. Oh, nice eat. Spin him over the wall. Nope. Hecarim's dead. Yeah, they're murdered. Yeah, TT so much CC. And they have four melee champs here at PX, so they're all gonna get stunned. So they need to dive this bot tier 2 here. Does have flash and ultimate, but they are willing to fully commit to this one here. He hops Two minions, away, yeah, slide nice. him off, but he's dead. Nothing he Good can really close. do here as he's gonna try nice and dead, flash yeah. to delay a little bit more time. Wait, LWX just execute comes on to LWX. Executed? As home there for LWX. Oh, the end of the world. They need to defend and top tier two. That's the biggest problem right now. Top tier two. Because you're trading towers and you get a kill, yes, but top tier two is it up? Is it surviving? Oh, yeah, it is. Go join thanks for the two. Have you noticed Red Side is starting to dominate yeah, more I mean, as Patch advances? What are your thoughts? Um, um well, Red Side is normally good when yeah, there's a lot of OPs in the meta, right? The when there's loads of OPs, you're not trading one for one, and you are you can actually force one for two trades and counter on three. So when there's only two or three OP champs, blue side always wins because they're getting it at one no matter what. But when there's champs like Nar, Silas, Poppy, Aphelios, Zeri, right? That's five. So even if I ban two of them, I can still have three open, which means you first pick one, I get two, right? But in a meta where there's only a couple of OPs, uh, it makes it so blue side is better. Blue side also has map advantage as well, slightly, depending on champs. If it's a poke meta, like, um, let's say, like the old school Varus mid meta, then red side is actually more favored. Uh, but positionally, blue side is slightly better. Because ganking bot is easier. Yeah, and as well as that, you got the second dragon or on blue side, and it is on red side. Four TT on their side, so if they get the next one in a minute and a half, they will be getting themselves all the way. And ganking top is easier on red side. Looking to try and make something happen as the TP coming in. That's going to be Hoya joining his team because of this wall. This wall is really nice. Hey guys, it's Kajal. Uh I'm going to be pumping out loads of YouTube content, but I noticed that a lot of you aren't subscribed. But if you could subscribe, it really helps. Uh, I really appreciate all the support on the videos recently. I'll try to be covering all the uh, major regions across the world as much as I can, and uh, yeah. Thanks again for watching the videos. Enjoy! Yeah, bitch! GT, uh, yeah, it's a good one for one. They need to get mid push though. Can they hit this? No, they can't. They can lose top tier two. Okay, nice flash by Summit. They have to trade mid tier one for top tier two here. Why is red side good for poke? Well, the reason is because of the pit, right? Contesting Nash is very hard. Unless yeah, you have poke, look, if you can poke over the wall here on red side, they time. can't ever do Nash. You have a really good, really good position. Oh, it's unplayable for Irelia. She can never go in. DT has way too much disengage, way too much CC. Can they just end bot? FPX, the only way they can wave clear is engaging. No, Aphelios guns are... They're okay for teamfight. 
I mean, already the inhibitor gone. Now you Just play go, go for mid tier three. Also really good. Well. Are up and available. well, remember, you that Senna is almost dead from one auto deck. Well, death cap was finished up by Keras. Keras tries to join in with his team. You Cal though finds Summit, and they're almost getting him taken out. They're gonna try and burst. Oh, uh, they lost Infernal Soul. Is. Infernal Soul has been locked and loaded. Ooh. There is a good. That Aphelios sort of one shot Senna. Get the devourer onto LWX. It's a bit of a long. Oh, Care. Oh, but then Senna's uh, Irelia's ult missed. Uh, at Summit can't move. Kepler is free hitting. You Cal is gonna use the realm warp to get on top of him as well. Two kills go over to him but finally Kepler goes down LWX is trying is very very and the rise just fisted him just well I guess we'll never know what the soul count was not a scam yo it's not a scam I didn't get the answer maybe if he spawns in five they'll click on him yeah, I mean, Kara and LWX are up. I think you don't have the damage here. So hung by the oh maybe not maybe not but FPX maybe not scam hold on Hero Surely they'll click on Senna, right? In this game here, he wants to secure the win. GG. TT will go 1 0 up in the series. And Yo, Dick's works for him. Yeah, Nar first pick good. But Zeri's open. Wow. Like this on the side of TT and say, they should pick up Zeri. We don't read. Yeah, I, feel yeah, like I should get Wukong as well, or Talia. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I like it. Now, TT will go a few deals. I think Aphelios Lissandra would be pretty good. Or Wukong Lissandra or Wukong Aphelios. I don't know about Kalista Renata. If they slam Nautilus on free, I'm a bit scared. You can't slam Kalista Renata, I think. Against Talia, Nautilus. Mm. Pretty difficult. I think Rise Aphelios can work. Rise Wukong. Uh, Rise Ren no, Renata doesn't work, I think. They should slam top here. DP Nault. Looks like the FBX, they honestly Kale is like not my favorite. Could have been red side bands. I still oh my god, Summit. Is a good shout or take what happened to play? Summit today? Even he says, I will carry. Kalista Jinx, yeah, they're picking Aphelios. Please just ban it. Okay, well, don't ban it. Oh no, what am I saying? Isn't it better to ban Aphelios Jinx? Wow, is Kalista ban needed? I feel like Kalista Rise from Nar is... Still TT. Win in 50 minutes More or lose game. They could have picked Nautilus here. Renata, very as well. Force them to ban GP, way, Hale or something like that, right? Or Gwen? I don't know. Yeah, pick Wukong on four. Really Leave Kalista open and ban Aphelios. Let them yeah, pick Kalista. The and then last pick, <laughs> uh, and then last pick Malphite. <laughs> hey, Malphite will be pretty good into uh, Kalista, Viego, Nar. There is a lot of, you know, kind of straight up dive. And you play with mid prior to bot. So maybe if they just want to go back onto something that can give you that sort of safety. Something like that would have been pretty nice here from FPX. Set him up in a trap. Because I think Kalista into Nautilus, Malphite, Talia doesn't play the game. Yes, Brom can offer that disengage as well. Good risk to take, I think. Because either way, you like, you can't top anyway, right? Would you rather never play League again or never cast League again? <laughs> never play League again. Holy fuck. I don't play much League anymore. I'm only like 300 LP Master. But I had cast a lot of League, so... Plus, I'd probably save myself some brain cells if I didn't play League. What's left of them, at least. Oh, beige one! All right. Well, FPX have a pretty good ma bot matchup with Brown into Nautilus. Care doesn't have flash, so he can't push in Rome. Pretty slow game. Drake's up, Herald's up soon. Nothing's really happening. I mean, the most important thing for FPX is that Summit can get to uh, one item even or ahead. Actually, clapping Hoya a bit here. Why is nobody picking Jace anymore? Jace is just weak, champ. Ever since he got nerfed in the durability update, like it can't win lane. Plus, there's gonna be second win nerfs and potion nerfs, so maybe it brings it back. Yeah, I don't know why they're nerfing potions. I don't know. The dragon changes. Okay, they're a bit OP. The herald changes. Yeah, okay. Herald is not that high prior. The second one, I can get it. Um, you are a in my heart. But the potion changes. Maybe second wind, sure, but potion changes and red smite as well. Like, why are they nerfing red smite? I know it's broken, but it's the only thing about jungle that is broken. If you remove red smite and everyone's playing blue smite junglers, everyone's just going to be useless. Thorn shield, second wind. Yeah, but how do you play late game? Like, the game is already pretty early game centric. Like, you can see roaming mids are everything. Diving size is everything. Kog Lulu, for example, Kale have lost its place in the meta. 
So if you remove ways to survive lane, they're going to even be even out of meta even more. So it's going to be pure early game. Which I guess is fun to watch, but it's just makes the game very one-sided and hard to come back, I guess. Because they can get to even bigger early game adventures. Oh, triple kill for Zeri. It's reason it's one is because Zeri, the only CC they have is... If she gets hit by North Hook, she's reported, but otherwise these champs are so short range that if they want to commit onto Zeri to kill her, then Braum can block because they're in, in her melee range. But there's no Azir or Jinx or anything that's hard for Zeri to gap close onto, so this should be a pretty good game for her. So that's the thing is like, the Realm Warp is great in trying to follow the Weaver's Wall. Nice trade by Summit. I mean, Summit's been winning top both games. You can actually just cut off Yukal from being able to interact, but TT is going to respond in kind. If you take Dragon, we could put our pressure topside, and they should get Rift Herald, which honestly might end up being worth it if they can get some gold. If they can get some gold, nice gank. His team was on Herald, so I thought I think he thought he was safe. Can FPX win this? LWX is here. Does Hang have E? Yo yo no flash. Yo 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 yo. No flash. No flash. No flash. Kill. Where's that Zeri W going? What? Nautilus should have died there. Where does Beige one put Herald? Hmm. If both tower should die. What's the argument of letting Zeri go on the red side? Uh, I think TT valued Nar over Zeri because Summit will pick Zeri, uh, pick Nar, and he's probably one of the best Nars in the LPL. And it's his most picked, and then maybe they thought they couldn't manage topside if they give him Nar. So um, they valued just taking it away from him and taking an even matchup than giving it to him. Available here, but there's the realm orb coming out. He does have the leap strike there. There's Yukal trying to just burn him down. They will Dead. get the Mega Nar over the right. side and they will stun him down and yeah. take him. T pushed in, which means TT now get to push in mid, get to kind of pick up their. Are you going to NA for worlds the, the casting? Lane and consider, continue, uh, I hope so. Control. Yeah, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble and he is just going to die. I think the experience for the viewer at home is better when the caster is in the crowd as well because. Like, it makes it more emotional, a cast, if you can hear the crowd as well. If it's just a bit silent or a very low crowd because they're not in the studio, it just makes it a bit shit. Yeah, TT are just doing a really good job of abusing their globals, and now Clid is gone! IMO. There's a flash, I think. Oh no, yeah. Oh, you call. Oh, Hoya, too deep, too deep, too deep, too deep, too deep. Summit, baby, summit, baby, summit, baby. Boom. Drunk casting champion's queue with flowers. Dude, that sounds like my jam. Actually, what's going to happen with champion's queue? Is all the NA people, all the Korean and LPL players going to go to NA and just play champion's queue and kick all the noobs out and take their money? Just going to bully them and take their lunch money? I just imagine like Faker and all the RNG team, all the LPL teams, all the LSK teams... Going into Champions Queue, taking all the top 50 slots and taking all of NA's money. It's going to be closed during Worlds. Ah, uh, they knew that they know their lunch money is going to get stolen if it's on. Oh, Care made a big mistake here. Yeah, if you have RJS and enemy team has Rookie, I mean, you can kiss your fucking thousand dollars goodbye. Oh my god, TT are going to win this fight. Summit can't 1v3. Wow. Quadra kill for base one. Oh, nice done. A lot of flashes. How do we turn here? Ryze has smite. God, this, this Baron is quick. I think they sent Hoya over, push back, double smite. Oh, they got it. Oh, LWX is going to pentakill. Oh my god, Kara could have had a free kill there. <gasps> he just had to jump to the other side of the wall. No, Zeri W. Por favor. No. The game, I thought, was over after the triple kill, but the Rice being ahead is actually dishing so much damage. Also, Nar is pretty broken in fights. If he should be fine now, the cooldowns are up. Hoya needs Mega. Or he needs to also not int. Oh, the Yukal, you have stopwatch. 
EQ and maybe just die. Oh, he didn't get the Q. Just send, 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 send it, send it, send it. Oh, Mega, Mega. No. I thought it was Mega. It's Summit. Holy Summit. Summit just clapping in the back line. Base one's dead. FPX is in it. Bro, the Summit's actually doing a lot in these fights. Two for two. You can see it going down so, so quickly. Beishwan finds himself on the back side of the pit. Puts down a ward. And you can see FPX, they don't want to flip it. They don't want to go back to spring. Of oh, Clit. As they can finally look for the fight. Yukal. Yukal dead. Damage dealer, the only real threat to LWX has been taken out oh, yes, of this fight. Hoya has nowhere to go in his mini NAR form. They get Soul and, and Nash. And run away as well. Heartbreaker by Beishwan. He should be dead anyway. If, oh, no, he doesn't. Doesn't chase. He has trade for the Baron. He ex to play on a defensive footing, but not able to do so, and FX is still here. Yao Yao got separated off as well onside Beishuan. It's kind of a 2v2 on either side. Yeah, LWX one-shotting everyone. It's over. He's taking on so much on this team. Zeri. Ooh. Big side Zeri. A little bit overzealous. As eventually that one does go down. LWX is just tanking the turret. Actually, how fun is it to play six items, Zeri? Full build right now, Dr. He's got himself his Runan Hurricane and a GA, so you're not going to have to kill him once. You're going to have to kill him twice as Hoya gets caught out. He has Flash, eventually gets to use Yeah, red side Zeri picking away this NAR didn't do too much. Wow, look at that damage. That's an AD Zeri. Wow, good job. Riot's latest creation. FBX are tearing through them. Absolutely nothing you can do is TT, and we're going to a game three. Hoya will fall, as will the Nexus alongside... Very, Kepler. very good champ. 100% kill, kill participation on Zeri. Hmm. And they're not, like, guys, can Riot not just realize they've changed Zeri nine times in 12 patches? And they're not just remove it? Like, this champ is broken no matter what you do. The kit is too overpowered. Just disable it. Go back to drawing board. Rethink. Come back. So Too broken. When they go for the yeah, but they can go Kalista Nord now. I think that's not good for FPX. But again, they should go Kalista Nord here. So Otherwise, so oh yeah, Kalista Mumu works too. How come champs like Kiana are not played in pro play? Because uh, they lose lane and they're super high volatile. They pick Poppy. Yeah, it's good. I think uh, depending on what TT pick on four here, I feel like they're ahead in draft. You have a few options here on four. Something like GP could work. Lissandra could work. I don't know, I'm scared of Lissandra's 4-5 here if they just go like... Actually, they have... You do have to just be okay, they ban GP. Them. That's really good by FPX. What do they have on 4 or 5 here? They have Lissandra, mid-jungle, something. I think TT should maybe take... But then Lissandra, Mumu, Poppy. Maybe it's just best to pick a top. What do you pick? Gregas? I don't know. Swain, blind is good. That stops Lissandra. Swain, blind, stops Lissandra. Into our next but now but they're actually not gonna go they could probably just, just do spin. yeah victor is really good mean that you're very heavily in on the mid game so maybe victor wukong go with the Gwen. maybe be something um, victor at least in bad like Zin Zhao is playable nocturne is not great i like nocturne but, but i don't like it here yeah wukong in that better. Mid lane. Okay, okay now last pick top i don't really like when yeah, I mean, Wukong uh, is kind of Orn the last one that's is up there. That's Orn Gregas really work, but of course you're losing lane. I, won't heal. I think tank works I here, but it loses we'll lane. Yet, I don't like, like Gwen. Yeah, well. it's a horror. FPX are really far behind level one. Bot push is one balanced. And I bet he will get the crow. This is the annoying thing about split maps or cross maps on, on side, blue side. I mean, you're gonna get the same. Enemy bot, if they have push, can always move like this. Time. And uh, top push now. moving is if never TT really a threat unless happen. mid can move in as well. Top side, because Yukal top push, they just lose too much solo. Uh, now it's in level level three game. Top should work. I think this will work actually. If someone's bone, yeah, his bone plating fell off. Oya has E up again. We know that the Wukong's on the bottom side. He's gonna be able to put up the Stadfast presence in a second, but there's the flash. W. There's nowhere for you to go. First blood. Yeah, easy kill for TT. Now he's trying to go for blue again, but they're gonna collapse again. And Poppy can run down. Oh no! Streamer changes career path to stripper. This statement is false. XDD. 
would have been hit off there by it's just, it's just Can they not fight this? Swain has TP. I here. feel like they so, can, yeah, but Kalista can't move, two, so they not can't. Really in a position to contest. As I say that, though, he is Clint no smite, though. It comes shot. up now. He did have the priority. Oh, Yao Yao. Oh, no flash. Nice fuck. He needs to fight or die. That's what he's got with the bailout, but it's not going to be enough to keep him up. And Clint will fall down. Okay. No flash, LWX. Jesus, man. Clint is so far behind. Like playing Poppy. And the thing or is, Jarvan, entire top side for uh, or any like early game jungler, and you're down in camps or like a 20 CS at 4:30, uh, it's fine, it's playable. If you're playing Wu Kong and you're four camps at almost up, minute five, got some of these camps for you're screwed. You are absolutely screwed because your champ is really bad at early skirmishing. Yeah, five minutes, he's getting his fifth camp. Sixth camp, it's over. He showed on vision. Uh, this lane for Victor is so hard. Oh, Yukal is griefing here a bit. Oh, he's griefing. Is he dead? Oh, they have CC? Oh, no, he's not dead. He's going back in. Holy fuck, Yukal. Before they actually move, but it looks like TT may be considering going for this. I mean, they're going to try and go, try and maybe make this one work, but they will get the dragon secured here by Clint, who does have the cyclone that you talked about, but... Oh, knock up, up on the four! The but you get way oh, more yeah. than that for Can they reduce Aphelios' damage to towers? With his guns? Got the rift like the well. red-white? And that means you can actually crack He just took three plates in, like, 15 seconds. So, honestly... Level, level, level six. There. Like, still being That's a herald down, crash. Even though he's behind. Aphelios like, has a herald in his guns. No yeah, joke, it's well hiding well inside of it. Yeah, yeah. You nerf Scion damage when his... You, you actually unironically solo. watch the Baos play solo queue side, and then you nerf Scion passive damage to towers. But this 200 years him. champ is still terrorizing uh, towers on cooldown with his now, fucking red and white guns. But you nerf Scion's oh, passive to towers? To make this and the only person who uses it is Baos so in the entire world? Guys, look at the game! I think so that Riot should make a Baos Scion skin. And they should get the voice actor for Scion, that, that when he dies, here. they get the voice of Scion and he says good death when he dies. And then when he hits 10 deaths, his champ should like... With change his hair, or, like change his head, and he should have like Super Saiyan on his head. Let's go, man. We'll now, when he hits 10 deaths, power spike. He like respawns and goes like, and charges up. Yeah, I think the best opportunity that would be a fucking banger skin. Sort of don't need no Lux, don't need no Kai'Sa. Just take that idea on Scion and everyone will buy it. Oh, he tries to get away. He does have a cleanse, but he's been hit by the curse of the sad mummy and that flash he lost And when he gets a kill, solo, it says solo bolo. Solo! I don't know how to do it. Sion voice. And when, when someone flashes, every time someone flashes, Sion says cringe. They need to get... Well, they're trying to get this bot tier 1. The problem they have here, TT, is their bot lane is actually winning 2v2, but they have no tower behind them. So jungle has to cover them to get pushouts, otherwise they get engaged on from behind by Wukong. Who has been kind of out of this game, but he's hit his Sunderer spike. So maybe he can be useful now. They should play for mid tier 1 here, FPX. I think getting into this dragon pit is going to be a bit too hard. Love you, wow, if they don't get mid tier 1 here... Oh, Hoya's ulting the wave. He's dead. There's nothing you can really do. I will say, though, he sacrifices his life for the greater good. Because can they get the wave? Oh my god, this is awkward. I think TT can fight this 5v4. Clit is useless. Up his oom, um, though. Okay, yo, yo. Oh, our flash, baby! That was sick by yo, yo. He only gets one kill, though. Mumu ult, nobody follows up on it. Just not that they can or that not that they won't, probably a better way to put it is Hoya. Oh, Hoya? Hoya? This TP coming in. He has flash here, Kara. No oh else my god, Gwen go go missed, him, but I think she, she wins. Here, so even nice TP, kill. It is a good move no flash base one. So FPX are up in gold because they're three towers to zero. TT need towers. God, they should just hit this bot tower. Why is he basing? Just hit bot tower. It's dead. Uh, it's dead. You have full info topside. Poppy just had to flash away. I know we have a map hack and we can see everyone on the map. And you can argue like, well, he wasn't sure where X was or where Y was. But Victor was dead. Aphelios was all in mid and Wukong showed top. And for to get ganked by Nar, Renata would be quite random, I think. I would have to check the map state, but I'm pretty sure he could have taken bot tower there. 
feel for the actually you motherfuckers. Got like a, a big you motherfuckers. through for a lot of these players. Summit. Summit's gonna go 1v1 now. It's actually not even a 1v1 because oh, Ishpan is here. He flashes over, but now he's not gonna have that for the next fight. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it feels like he's just gonna Sorry. die. Summit, we talked blunder. They should play for top tier one here and then get Ben, I mean, uh, ben Gwen in base. Really and they need to fight this Drake. I mean, Are they starting Nash? Nash? They should not start Nash. This is the worst call on the planet. Summit can still TP in. The or just get Gwen to base now and TP. TT should just get mid push, move to Drake, get Vision, give Gwen a TP ward, get Gwen in base, TP's in, go fight. Gwen ult will be up for this fight. And Victor has no flash. Even giving up Nash for this is worth it. It doesn't matter. This game is won if you get this. Actually, it does matter. Don't give up Nash. They have good wards already. There's the TP. Swain will push out bot. Oh my god, this this fight looks so TT favored. Exhaust, ghosts up. Kalista just needs cleanse and... Well, actually, no, Aphelios has red-white. It's fine. Okay, here it comes. Game's over here. Yao Yao should just try to Q on Wukong and R flash the backline. But does it do much? There's not much follow-up. I think Swain needs to be the one who who goes deep. Okay, so Hoya is going to flank. Good, 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 good. Summit's going to counter flank. Good, 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 good. Little bit of chunk. Try to proc his Mega early. Yeah. There goes the Mega. Is starting the dragon. I don't know if that was the correct call there, but now they've got the Meganar out. They just have to wait for this. Yeah, they're just trying to wait it out. Which is so FPX, FPX have to force. To burst it down. They're sent flying. They're sent flying. There's a hostile takeover. Good Meganar. Good exhaust. Oh, yes. Good flank as well. Did they get it? Oh, they got it. Yuka will melt them now. He got one shot. Where's his stopwatch? Yo, why didn't Yuka stopwatch? Where is, he? Where is the Swain stopwatch? They have to go Nash here, FPX, or it's over. Like they have to go Baron or they lose the game. No the oh, care! Gap close! No. They, they need to go Baron or they lose. Yeah, Very odd fight there. I think TT should have been super there. favored really when Hoya bought time board. and they had Swainled. If he only stopwatch there, they would have won. So what happens here? Beishwan knocks away two. So it's a three versus four versus. No, it knocks away one. It was the clone. Hoya stalls the backline, so they can't collapse on Summit's ult. Good. And now you should be favored. They just go in now. Go in, go in, go in. Even Aphelios is out, but no stopwatch. If he stopwatches now, over. Okay, so is the game over? I, I, normally, I, I say the game's over a lot, so I apologize if a lot of the time I'm saying, ah, oh, it's over, and then it's not. It's just like the first instant thought that comes into my head that translates into words. But TT are super favored right now. Um, FPX have good scaling, like Victor, Aphelios, Wukong are Renata is really good late game, and Kalista is a bit weak, but I think the Hexol should nullify that. It's on Swain to make these fights work. It's on Swain, really, if he can get in a good position. Gwen as well needs good position. TT need to position better, but they should be favored. Just, uh, like things like this, I think could go really bad. Just stacking in a in a Nash pit against Renata. It just feels like this is the only way to lose. But looks like it's going down pretty quick. Here we go. Clid goes in. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, Clid's over. They should just finish, 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 finish. Finish, 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 finish. Smite, 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 smite. Nice. You cow. Stopwatch this time, buddy. Thank you. Good stopwatch. He's gonna die anyway, but he's good sacrifice. Cool. Good Nash. Dude, Poppy, Poppy is so broken. Every single time I see Nash or Dragon fights, enemy jungler just gets yeeted to fucking Narnia. So LWX is pretty strong. They're still down in gold, TT. They have a lot of standing gold though, because they've only ever gotten one tower this game. So these two towers should die pretty easily. Gwen just needs to push while Nar hovers mid, and if Nar goes back to top, then they just need to push mid, right? They need to seesaw them to get these two towers. So they should just play 1-4 here and get these tier 1s. They should get them. Now, Gwen pushes top, good, gets top tier 1, Poppy can cover. Nar will be able to, well, it should be forced off, and then they can push mid and get this mid tower. And they should get two towers, the gold will even up, and then TT... Don't think it can get anything else. Now, FPX might get sucked into a rotation top here, but they can't because of Drake. FPX can win the game if they get the Drake, of course. Why are they pop ulting? Oh, oh that's why they're pop ulting. Oh my god, it's insane. It's insanely smart. Oh my word. He just won the game for them. He just won the game for them. Put themselves in that position is a disaster with 10 seconds until the Elder Dragon. Wow, that was really smart. Didn't think of that. Summit, though, 
sitting on Me Meganar very, very soon. Clid still in a position to try and steal. Yo, yo, will connect. That's a CC. Doesn't get the knockback, though. Oh, they're not quite in. Now it's a 1v1. Oh, my God. He needs Kalisto. He doesn't have a flash available to him, but Yukal is there to try and keep him safe. As they're over chasing here a bit, TT. I don't know why they're chasing so deep. But can they kill him off? That's the question. Care. They get care? Yeah, they do. Oh, nice stopwatch. Should have stopwatch. Oh, my God. It's stopwatch central. The ult on Yao Yao. The Andres. No, he doesn't have Leandris. I think they can get Drake. Kepler has life steal, right? LWX has no sums. They're going to play it safe and just base. I feel like FPX had a free... Uh, TT had a free uh, Elder there. Just over chasing to get more kills and then turn back to Elder was a bit greedy, I think. Mm, now FPX have a small chance to fight back because Victor has TP. We can maybe look for this objective right now. Now they have another round to go. See that everyone is still here from FBX and FBX. You got to be very careful. Care will have a TP in five seconds, and it's going to be a first TP. He has a TP on that pink oh, yeah, on, on bot the side, I think. Can he get onto LWX? What can he do here? Another great keeper's verdict just means that if Summit can't get that Mega Nard to work for I think him, FPX can win here if Summit gets a good position. Yes, flash. <gasps> oh no, I think he could have flash ulted there. Hung's gonna get one shot here. Yao Yao gets a massive ult. I think it's TT now. It's TT, baby. It's TT. I think Summit could have got a better ult there. Big damage. Oh, he got him. Yeah, Hoya kills him. Ah, nice try. Care didn't have ult for that fight. Clid didn't have ult. Maybe if they had ult, they could fight back, but... To build momentum oh, looking for summit in the wrong place the wrong time they pop a w is he dead a little bit of moment a little NCC. bit of cc and he will be uh, the yordles fight. baby still building them down they still can't quite <laughs> bring him out but yeah but in draft where Hoy oh, oh hang on god oh lwx he's oh. isolated no. again he flashes away after you nice try now he does not have either summon oh we'll summit nice stopwatch by hoya haven't been able to kind of get fpx's dragon, dragon is off oh nice hostile takeover it's massive four man four man renato they can win this fight fpx they have a wave as well can they just win the game can they just win the game if they, if they win this fight can they win it's all it's on kepler it's on kepler it's on kepler it's on kepler where's the damage there's the ga there's the ga bailout lwx is down they need to kill kalista need to kill kalista need to kill kalista can they go more can they go more can they go more can they go more can they go more, can they go more? it's over wait it's over wait they won wait they won the game they have no carries for 40 seconds but you don't have much hp and not much tower damage either just send it. Just go. No, I don't think they can. They can't. Wow, they just got a lot of gold. LWX now has GA, almost has six items. Wow, the scaling is coming. The scaling is coming. They just need Victor. G they need Victor Rabidons and they need Rapid Fire or whatever on this. Oh, they're going to fight? This uh, Philos has insane guns if you're going to fight this. They're trying to knock away and then send it. One minute on on Elder. Oh wait, FPX have a wave. Wait, they have a wave. Yo 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 yo. yo. What happens here? What happens here? I think they should just push here, FPX. Just push, 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 push. Clint, stop griefing. Push, 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 push. Who's really trapped here? TT. If they can Hex to get hate gate out, maybe? Line. This is really bad now for FPX because exactly Clid just got so chunked for no reason. Oh, Hex, uh, okay, Clid is dead. Work. I don't know why Clid did that. I don't know why he got so chunked. Ah, uh, fuck, LWX is screwed. It's over. They lost. Why did Clid walk up? They should have just pushed. Can Summit hold? Maybe he needs to buy a stopwatch? No, he can't hold, I think. Renata's up soon, but... Summit has to just buy time and die. Wait, TT could all die here actually wait fpx is gonna win the game fpx is gonna win the game if they don't end fpx is gonna win the game if they don't end out 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 get in get in get in get in get in there 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 get down the puppy oh my god they won oh my god they won oh that was close that was so close